Hey, what's up everybody? Avantik here with a new video. This video is to share some tips and tricks that I learned while playing Subnautica Below Zero. There are some cool unique things that I have learned while playing this game that will help you survive the depths of 4546B and fight off its inhabitants. So if you played the first game, the underwater gameplay is quite similar, but the devs definitely took it a step further and added some cool and unique survival mechanics into the game, as well as new features, new tools and interactions. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Here's tip number one. The first tip has to do with the bladderfish. And yes, the bladderfish has changed since the first game and now it's one of the most overpowered fish in the game and let me explain why. Bladderfish in this game has gained an extra survival stat. If you just catch it, the uncooked version gives you plus 6 food points, but also, bear with me, it gives you oxygen. And not just a small amount of oxygen, it actually gives you plus 15 oxygen points. Actually, when you start a new game, you get a base of 45 oxygen points. So actually that's amazing, you can replenish one third of your base oxygen supply just by eating one bladderfish. Also I don't know if it's intended but bladderfish don't rot in your inventory. So you can just keep a bunch of bladderfish in your inventory on hand whenever you need them. So what I have done in my playthrough is just grab a bunch of bladderfish keep it in my inventory as I explore the depths of 4546B. And obviously the bladderfish also has a added benefit. Since it doesn't rot in your inventory, you can release it and hit it with your thermal blade. Then you will get a cooked bladderfish which will give you food and water. So let's jump into tip number two. Tip number two. Sea monkeys like to steal your things. So whenever a sea monkey sees you traveling around with something in your hand like a knife, scanner, or flashlight, or even a sea moth, it will actually try to chase you down and take the thing out of your hand. To avoid having to deal with pesky sea monkeys, whenever you notice a sea monkey chasing you down, just put away your active item from your hand you can do it by pressing down on your item's shortcut key assigned to the action menu. By default, those are number 1 to 5 keys. There's also a better option, which you can press the E key, which will put away your active item. So there we go, the sea monkey actually will swim away disappointed and disgusted at you. Let's jump in into tip number 3. Tip number 3 has to do with alternate oxygen sources. So most people will discover this thing called an oxygen plant. So this type of plant grows in specific predetermined places and biomes. So their placement is totally not random. All you have to do is swim up to this plant and use it. It will actually replenish 30 points of oxygen. It actually takes it only 40 seconds to respawn an oxygen bulb. So another source of oxygen is a titan polefish. So these things uh, hang out by the glaciers and they actually don't swim too deep. So they're kind of a last resort kind of thing when you cannot get to the surface fast enough. Tip number 4 coming up. So tip number 4. It's kind of not unique to just Subnautica Below Zero. I think that it's very important to notice that the thermal blade is one of the most important items you can have in your inventory, specifically while playing hardcore or survival mode. And this has to do with its ability to cook fish so you can find food whenever you are. Also, most fish replenish a certain amount of water, so having a thermal blade on you can guarantee you not having the need to go back to base every time when you ran out of inventory supplies. Tip number 5 coming up. So, tip number 5 has to do with the new use of for the laser cutter. 
So actually now the laser cutter can be used to cut through specific ice sheets. So these look way different than any other parts of the ice in the game. They almost look like a window or a portal shaped hole. So yeah, whenever you see an ice sheet like this, just use a laser cutter and to cut through it, then you probably reach some good raw materials on the other side. There are also some oxygen deposits in the ice for which you can use a laser cutter to cut into. Alright, next up, tip number 6. Tip number 6 has to deal with base building and specifically base reinforcements. So if you played Subnautica, you probably know you can reinforce your base with a specific wall attachment. In Subnautica Below Zero, there's also an alternative way to reinforce your base. So once you get a large room, you'll be able to build a large room partition. Each large room partition gives you 0.2 hole reinforcements. It's actually not a lot of a reinforcement from one partition, but they do stack up and if you need a reinforce your base really quickly just by spending one titanium at a time because the partition wall just cost one titanium each so let's jump to the seventh tip on the list so tip number seven might contain a small beginning of the game story spoiler so be aware of that so the warning has been issued Tip number seven has to do with sea monkeys and specifically to their behavior once you meet Alan. And that's because once you meet Alan, sea monkeys actually become friendly and they start bringing you gifts. So from that point on, all sea monkeys will try to give you titanium, diamonds or other items they find in the vicinity. So a good idea is to find some sea monkey eggs which can be found in some of their nests which are located in the kelp area and the lily pad area. So it's a good idea to stack up on these eggs and collect them in your inventory, stash them away until you find an alien containment unit blueprint. Okay. Then you can breed some sea monkeys, keep them around your base and they will continue to bring you resources. So this concludes today's video containing tips and tricks for Subnautica Below Zero. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Make sure to comment what you want to see in my upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Remember to like this video. This is Avantex signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.